This video is sponsored by Unity Alfa Romeo. Well, folks, you join me in my 2017 Monte Carlo Blue Alfa Giulia Quadrifoglio. I've had this car for four years, and this is my final, final drive. Nine months ago, I made a video about how this car has ruined me, not financially, but it has ruined me for anything else. A couple of you even unclicked your subscriptions, but that was a little bit hasty. The start to this video and a sponsorship by Unity Alpha in Kidlington near Oxford might give you some sort of idea of where we're headed with this one. As always, last time, my favorite bit. Oh yeah. Never gets old. So, nine months ago, I said that this car had ruined me, but not financially. It's ruined me for anything else. It has not, however, ruined me for another Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. This time in Montreal Verde. Exposed carbon roof, carbon fiber steering wheel, carbon sparkos and that glorious Montreal Verde um, color scheme. Dark five hole alloys, full ADAS2 driving. It is the perfect spec for me. I'm not that bothered that it doesn't have yellow calipers, a bit like this car. It does not have the carbon ceramic brakes. I'm not particularly bothered about that either because this one's a keeper. The Alfa Giulia is rumored to be ending production. Along with the Stelvio um, in July, there will be a run-out model, a Super Sport, black quadrifolio badges. I'm not that bothered about that because I simply can't afford a new one. This Monte Carlo green car was registered on Valentine's Day of all days, um, just over a year ago. I fell in love with this car when I saw it in the showroom when my car was getting serviced, again, just over a year ago. I never thought beyond my wildest dreams I would actually be the first owner over and above um, Unity themselves. They put the car on as a demonstrator in February 2023. It's a 2022 model. They ran it for 5,000 miles, put it up for sale about six months ago. The car was 84 and change, 84,000 pounds and change, fully specced. Um, when it was new, it was then advertised at 74,000 pounds or thereabouts and only just reduced to just under 60,000 pounds. So that's a reduction of 25,000 pounds over a little over one year. No, that puts that in the realm of something I can actually afford. So I am not in the market for a brand new run out quadrifolio in limited form. I cannot afford the 85,000 or thereabouts. However, an X demonstrator, that's something um, that I can afford. So um, let's cut back to my meeting of this car. It's back in January 2023. This car was in for a service, about 36,000 miles or thereabouts. It's now got 44,000 on it. And just see how I felt back then. And you know what's just caught my eye here? A beautiful Montreal Verde um, <laughs> Quadrifolio. Um, it's brand new. Um, could this be my next daily? <sighs> I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to go in and find out and see what the spec is. Um, I really don't want to know. <laughs> if truth be told, I'd only be tempted. But that stunning, stunning color um, that really um, set it off. I first saw it uh, at the uh, the press car that Alpha had, the GTAM, um, and I chased that down the M40. So go and have a look at that video. Um, <laughs> it's just one of those things. Sort of walked in straight away. Um, 488 for sale, but it's not that that's turned my head. It is this beauty here. Um, Brand new Quadrifoglio um, 2022 in uh, Montreal Verde. Look at that. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous color. I saw it in the GTAM uh, when it was uh, 
launch, so the press car, and this one has these gorgeous uh, Sparco carbon seats. So for 3,250 quid, uh, the uh, rear seat passengers, look at that, they can enjoy your all your carbon magnificence. Um, but really, you're, you're gaining uh, carbon seats and you're losing um, some of the other options that the car that makes it a bit more usable. So again, this one options with this absolutely glorious carbon uh, carbon roof really sets it off into the uh, into the rear glass. But it's the colour that's absolutely stunning. Um, I'm not sure I can trade in my 2017 uh, values about mid 30s. I would suppose as a trade in. And this one is £84,000, if only, if only I had the money. But as far as I'm concerned, it really, really has to be in uh, this colour. And it's absolutely stunning. And if I won the lottery, uh, perhaps the Ferrari would come calling. So my little Valentine registers on Valentine's Day. I fell in love with that car the moment I saw it. I just couldn't stretch to the £85,000 or thereabouts that it was going to cost me to get into it. I reckon this car was probably worth about uh, thirty-five grand back then. So this is not £85,000, it's not £75,000 that it was a little while ago. It's uh, just under £60,000. No, this is a trade-in, it's not £35,000, it's in the region of £25,000. No. We narrowed the gap with a sponsorship deal to an extent where I could take a £25,000 loan. I could add some savings, put a little bit on my credit card, and I am now into my dream spec car. Do you believe in fate? I do. So, since meeting my little Valentine just over a year ago, I've often thought about the car. I've often randomly looked at various um, sales websites. The minute you're able to take a loan over 10 years, it starts to become a bit more affordable. So let's slip it over into manual, enjoy the last mile or so before I hit um, the dealership. We'll get to Unity, we'll see the car, and we'll get a drive home. How about that? Do you like the t-shirt, by the way? Never gets old, never gets old. I'll see you, I'll see you down the road. So how's that for a surprise? Unity Alpha, again, an outstanding service. She's bought, she's not quite paid for, so make sure you watch all the future content on this. But as always, um, Unity here looking after me. The reason I have uh, struck a sponsorship deal, I'm not in the habit of doing that, I have always promoted good service. Over the last four years, my 2017 car has been here. It's been well looked after. The staff have been accommodating. They are willing to answer all the little niggly questions I have, certainly as a petrol head, and you may well too. So I'm going to get in here, enjoy the drive home. Um, thanks for tuning in with this one. It's exciting times ahead. I'm in love with this car since the moment I saw it over a year ago and now it's mine. Um, I will share the journey with you. I hope you enjoy the content I make on this. I'm going to enjoy and love and cherish this car. This is the last of a kind, really. The 2024 models are still available. The Supersport model is effectively a lottery. You pay three grand, you put your name in the hat, and you may well be one of those lucky owners of the handful of cars that are going to come to the UK. The Supersport is not available in Montreal Verde, however the 2024 models are. The upgrades, perhaps a me mechanical limited slip diff and uh, some changes to the lights. At 60 grand, this was an absolute bargain. I just happened to be the right place, the right time, and knowing this exact car was perfect for me. The start of a love affair or the continuation, whatever way you want to look at it. Um, thanks for watching this one. Gonna enjoy the drive home. I'll see you for the next one. All the best now. Bye bye.